Hi, again, Eddie Marcus. When my wife and I go places, we travel by car simply because my wife didn't trust the air. And so we just drive. But I'm reminded that every time I drive through a city or town and I pass by a graveyard, it just tickles me pink. I mean, I just feel all elated inside. I feel great when I pass by graveyards. I don't care what state is in, what city, or even in my hometown down here, it'll be in the Mississippi. I, most of these people down there that, in that graveyard that have passed on, I know them. One way or another, we got some kind of connection. But even as those, it's, there's a sense of joy that runs through my being. And that joy comes from knowing that they have escaped this hell. I just tell myself, I, they might not know it. They might not have known when they were here. But if it's possible for them to know anything now, or even if not, they have got to be happy that they are not in this hell. I mean, there can be no hell anywhere worse than the hell that's on earth. This isn't hell in, in the United States, just part of it. I'm talking all over there. Nothing but pure D hell. Doesn't mean that there are some good things going along, but those good things make that hellness that is in play continue. Nothing but straight old hell. Look at the lies. Look at the cheating. Look at the stealing. Look at the hatred. Look at the racism. Look at the murder. Look at the hate. Did I say that? Look at the terror, I don't think I said that, and look at the war, look at the poverty, look at the crime, look at the violence, look what people are doing trying to find satisfaction. Totally hell. Now you say, well, what's wrong with that? That's like what alternative living they call it. But I tell you, if you've got a choice between that and peace and prosperity and freedom and joy and happiness and the ability to live your own dreams, when you have the access to your needs, your wants, and your desires met. When you, my friend, don't have to do any of those other things in order to live a satisfied life. When you compare those two, no, this is hell. And this is what we who are living are going through every day. We, we who are alive and bodies are going through this stuff every day. And when you pass by these graveyards, you might think they, you don't know when they left, whether they're old or whether they're young. But one thing they do not have to worry about, they don't have to worry about the BS that's going on in the name of man, in the name of mankind. And that means all of us. It takes every last one of us for this fool to continue. Every last one of us. And if any of us were against it, we'd be going down that graveyard too. Gladly, gleefully, excited about it to get out of this hell. Think about that.